Guten Morgen. Beyond Dias. Good morning. Beyond Dias. Be be beyond Dias? I'll get there one day. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, we've got German neighbours, so I'm saying Guten Morgen a lot. Speaking German now. Right, we <laughs> never noticed this yesterday. We're back at the bar, our nearest bar. This is day three in Altair for us. Yeah, we're not going to the bar. <laughs> no, we're not going to the bar. Um, but Mazzy's just shown me this, and I've not seen this yesterday. Yeah. I just thought we were a rubbishy oil can, but it's not. It's actually art. It's a concrete bit of art, and apparently it wasn't broken yesterday. Not like that, no. I don't believe that was broken like that yesterday. I don't know. It's like rubbish art. I like it. It's yeah, good. Yeah, but it's like junk, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Is yeah. that right? Is that know. proper art? It's a bit I weird. I like it. Oh, a duddy. <laughs> I like it. The Alsatian up there didn't bark this morning. No. Oh, he's no. now. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, he I must said, have I said he recognises us now. He just lets us go. Someone yeah. else has just walked past it, barking its head off. <laughs> Right, we don't know what his plans are today. Um, heading down, yeah. see how we get on. Mazzy's not at her best, so she might no, be a bit quiet not in this best, one. So we're just going to take it easy and see how far I can get. Out. Yes. So we actually did quite quite a few miles yesterday, steps or whatever, innit? it? Yeah, so. we've done quite a bit this last two days. Yeah. I think it's getting it's getting to you now. You're getting tired, so it's a bit fast. Yeah. Shooting past us at 20 mile an hour. Right, let's do this. Yeah. Restaurant Club Nautico de Altea. I bet it's a really posh one. Yeah. It says new energetic breakfasts. Granola. <laughs> Granola, we can get that in bed. V Vigano. <laughs> Vigano. <laughs> cup of orange you know that's, that's, what you, what? that's just ridiculous it's what you need before you head off to the gym every morning honey yeah but if you're gonna have a granola I like granola. you won't go to a cafe for a granola would you You'd just go to bed <laughs> go to bed well, it's just like a bowl of cornflakes isn't it but no something slightly different granola and yogurt's nice yeah but you won't get it in a restaurant <sighs> would you you can get a massive box for like two quid. Why would you go there and pay five, six quid? Well, if you're going to pay five, six quid, you may as well go down there and get a fry up, mightn't you? Yeah. <laughs> so that's your energetic breakfast for the day, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You know, a fry up's hard to make. A bowl of granola isn't. It'd have to be a pretty special bowl of granola, that's all I can say. And the winner of the best van in Spain. Check Better this out. On the other side, isn't it? One love. One love. This is brilliant. This is like proper peace, 60s. Good vibes. Go after dreams, not people. Peace. That is brilliant. That's Spanish as well. I'd love to have a van where you could feel freely to just paint it and decorate it and be free with it. Yeah, just get your crayons out yeah. and do what you want. I know we can with ours because the van is ours, but... We will one day. <laughs> one day when we get your old bus that you're going to do up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So going back to comments from his first video from Altea. Number one, someone asked if dogs are allowed on the beach. There's nothing on the sign saying there's no dogs allowed. But we haven't seen a dog on the beach. To be honest, we haven't seen we haven't anyone really on the seen beach. We have seen anyone on the beach. It's not really a beach, it's all pebbly. And it looks looks like they've just thrown some sand on this side. Yeah, I was going to say, that bit's a bit more sand. Oh, there is a dog there. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you can bring your dogs down here. Number two, someone says Altea is not um, wheelchair friendly. It's not disabled friendly. Now, know. maybe the old town, because it yeah. is a cobbled street, apparently. But down here, I'd say it is, because, you know, you've got, like, ramps going out onto the beach. There is a, dis dis a dis disability sort of area down there as well to help oh, wheelchairs to get down on the beach. We've not come across that, but like you said, maybe it's the old town. 
I yeah. don't know. So we would say on the front, it is very wheel fair. Yeah. Wheel fair. God, we yeah. can't speak today, can we? No. Wheelchair, Wheelchair. friendly. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but Old Town, probably not, but we haven't got up there yet, so... If there's steps involved, then, yeah, more than likely not. I'll be honest, most Old Towns, I wouldn't say, are very wheelchair-friendly, because they're all up slopes, aren't they? And yeah, so. yeah. Anyway. Hope that answers your questions. <laughs> or, you could look at this sign which says, No dogs on the beach. <laughs> Okay, that answers your question. <laughs> but that should have been explained on that sign it as well. It should have been. Because it had everything. Well, maybe they are allowed up there. Yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Don't know. <laughs> but usually, even back home, the dogs aren't allowed on the beach during mm. higher season, are they? I don't so. know. Dogs no. are certainly allowed on this bit. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. To use as a toilet. We've found that out. And in the bars and restaurants and stuff as well, they're pretty good with that, aren't they? Yes, they yeah. are. Ah. Ah. <laughs> they're just um, kissing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> traffic, 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 traffic. We're trying to make his way up to the old town, which we're dreading because it's steep, we think. Yeah. Um, but I think it is something I have to do when you come to Altea because it is, well, it's probably the prettiest part, if you can even hear me. Um, so yeah, you've got to go on the main road a bit, jaggedy up a bit and then steep bit up. Oh, that's nice. Hostel Lemar. Art, proper art. In the middle of concrete city. So we are at the start of <laughs> what appears to be the old town. The steep hill. <laughs> the steep hill, so that's the main horrible nasty road we've just been on. It's very Spanish here, isn't it? It is, greeted by Jesus. That's nice. Yeah, this is a typical Spanish old town. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm as it might be. We'll just have to take it slow. Look at all this running down, look. Yeah, your drainage system. I it bet it's gushing down here when there's thunderstorms. Reminds me of a town we went to once before with that. Yeah. It went... No, where was it? Can you remember? No, don't worry. <laughs> Maz is really looking forward to this, aren't you? Look at that. I do not appreciate the one person that told Dan to go up there. <laughs> I've just no got chance. me I've just got my compass out and pointed it and that is north. Straight up. <gasps> vertical. That's vertical. Jeez. Are we well, gonna do this? We're in no rush, are we? We're in no rush, let's just take us time, chill out. Oh, I don't like hills. <laughs> Maybe there's a more of a windy way up, Mazzy. You want to try that? So there's a sign here, look. And that's like showing church on it. Is it? Looks like a church. Maybe we should try this way. Yeah, then. It smells of white paint, doesn't it? Yeah, gloss. Yeah. About halfway. Yeah. <laughs> hills, hills, steps, steps. But I just noticed this. That is the thickness of the house. These houses here. That's like eight foot, eight foot wide. How can you live in a house eight foot wide? There's motorhomes about that. <laughs> yeah. Right, there is something up here around the corner. I don't know what it is, but it's got a castle sign on it. But I don't think it's going to be a castle. I thought we were following the church sign. Well, you have to go past the castle thing. I'm not happy. I don't like hills. Oh, you love them. Love them. Right, we've made it to the first landmark. You might be able to see the sea down there. A lot of people up here. But I don't know what's up there, apart from the most amazing lamp. Yeah, that do look amazing. You know, like a Victorian lamp, but it looks incredible. Come with us. Check them out. 
I don't know if you're going to see the colours in this uh, bad sunlight, but really well decorated. And then, don't know what that's all about. Show them the view. The view? Yeah, we'll come up here for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> bit of a view I don't think there's actually anything here I think people just stop here because they're tired out oh here, oh, here. I think it's like an halfway stop <laughs> <laughs> the stop for a rest we're we not there well the church is further on but I'm guessing a lot of people just came down there didn't they oh, no. I think we're in the old town now so we can just go wherever we want like that Shabby chick. A bistro called Shabby Chick. Shabby Chic. Shabby Chick. Chic. <laughs> Look how they stay here. Okay, you could actually buy one of these. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Well, that one wouldn't, but one here looks like it's sold. Oh, this is nicer. Is this the square you were talking about? No, there is like a proper square, I'm sure. Alright, so you've got a pizza geek bistro bar there, you've got a tobacco shop there. And we want to go... Another one of them fancy lights on that one there. They're modelling, aren't they? Obviously. What, like the one back there? Yeah. Orange trees again. I don't know where she's... Oh, she's looking there. Yeah, you might be able to see that one a bit better than the other one. Wow, oh, there's the church we're going to be heading for. The church is there, look. That's a nice street, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, it does look a nice street. Yeah. And there's that street. So let's go up here, yeah? Yeah. Again, Spain's gone to town with the beautiful paving. That would take in some time, wouldn't it? Lovely. Cobbles. It's not really paving, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's like someone said not... Uh, wheelchair friendly isn't I'll tell you obviously this bit isn't there's a lot of steps what do you expect it's a steep place there ain't gonna be a lift coming up here is there that's a little shops I've though I weren't expecting to yeah. see anything we don't see many shops do we in old towns no there is a quite a lot here a lot of pizza places yeah <laughs> just an Indian restaurant but how well decorated is that Beautiful. Really nice. Yeah. So we've made it all the way yeah. to the top of just, Old Town. Just why, to all, the chat. why are Old Towns always on top of the hills? They're never at bottom, are they? I'm knackered from that. That's hard. No, it's not wheelchair friendly, not push chair friendly. No. Um, <laughs> beautiful church behind us. Closed. All that. Well, you can peek in from yeah. here. You just can't go in it. So I'll I'll get a little shot from outside. I don't know if it's going to pick up right in the um, lighting. No, it's all right. Do we need to? Fair enough. Oh, there's a little. Uh, Christmas nativity. Ah, I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> I think that is the worst. Things on actual candles. It for does. The environment, you know. Right, there come is on. that aspect. Let's have a quick look inside. Yeah, what a gold guild. Oh yeah, I knew it wasn't going to be the best we've been in Mazzy, yeah, but it, that it's all right. We went into once before. Probably the only one actually. I think was a lot better than this. Yeah, this seems quite modern, doesn't it? It's got that feel. It's nice. It'll be even. It'll be very nice in about 600 years. Yeah, a bit of character. That's what he's lacking, really, isn't it? Hmm. So it's 50 cents for a candle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight euros fifty. Come on. But that's flashing, so they must have only put 25 cents in. <laughs> 8 euros 25 cents. <laughs> oh, 
Very nice. Little angels done by the local children on the Christmas trees. That's amazing up here, isn't it? Canary up there. How do you know she is? Well, she obviously is, isn't it? Is it? I'm guessing so. Oh, it's, it is nice. It is very nice. Well, she's got a different top on there. If that's her. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, yeah, an impressive church that. Yeah, very nice. Quite modern. I don't know how old it is. Does it say? I oh, know that's Christmas opening hours or something. Uh, it looked quite modern, but very nice. Did feel quite touristy attraction. Yeah, in the bottom yeah. corner you've got a Spanish woman trying to sell you little bits of nothing. And tried to sell you a ticket then to go into the museum, which is nice to support all that. It was one euro to go into the museum. Should have done bit. it. Should have done it. But I think all it did is take you around... To that bit where Jesus yeah. was. Ah, oh, was a good bit, though. Yeah. Um, we should have done it. Should have <laughs> For done a it. euro. It just... I couldn't understand... No, could, we the couldn't money. understand what she was saying, no, so I just even, walked off, didn't even we? Even when we told her we speak English, she, she tried. She tried English, but... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, from the outside... There's your domes. I wonder actually how old it is, though. I'm sure 1983. it'll tell you. 1983, maybe. Did say it isn't very old. Or maybe that's just this. I don't know. Don't know, Mazzy. Look at that for a bauble. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the square I was talking about, isn't it? Yeah, I'm guessing so, yeah. So you've got a restaurant, a restaurant, a restaurant, a restaurant. Few people up here. And a restaurant. Nice. It takes some doing to get up here. <laughs> I think we need to go over there and see the view from over there. Everyone's yeah. over there. <laughs> wow, what a view. <laughs> Beautiful, it's mad, isn't it? It's always nicer to. In fact, I think the thumbnail I used on last night's video must be taken from here. Oh! It might be further up, I'm not sure, but it was yeah. looking down and it was all lit up at night. Yeah, very nice. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Statues, music, baubles, and a church. This is lovely music, isn't it? I feel like I'm in France. Uh, yeah. France? Yeah, it sounds a bit French, doesn't it? I was speaking Italy. Or, it Italy. or Italy. Yeah. I think they're very similar for music. Rubbish. <laughs> Take that back. Heart, art. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is ugly, man. It's called handsome. You are joking. <laughs> the man who made that's called Hans' son. That is probably the name of the piece of the artwork, darling. Well, there's nothing handsome about that. It looks like a pig's head with blood coming out, not veins. Oh, John Smith's. Oh no, it's Julio's bar. Troll. Fist troll. Ugh. That's an ugly thing. <laughs> Still a long way to get down now. So now we've got to make his way all the way back down. <laughs> Now, was it worth it? It was. It was nice to see. Yeah, if, you know, if you fit, if you fit, <laughs> if you do fit, it. Yeah. Do it. But if you don't do it, 
Don't worry, you're not missing out on terribly much. No. If what I would suggest, come in an afternoon on a lovely day. Oh, there's a cat down there. <laughs> On a lovely day, and go up to the church, and there is a pizza place opposite which looks beautiful. Yeah, Italian. Go up there for a pizza, Italian pizza. Just sit on the chair there outside the church, where the barble was, um, and that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know if it was open though, was it? Hello, darling. Oh, oh, he's got lovely blue eyes. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Hey, hey, you're a lovely one, aren't you? Handsome man. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I ain't got any food, sorry. You get to the point you have to bring cat food around in your pockets now, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Mazzy was saying she's surprised there's no rat. We haven't seen rats here because it does seem like the kind of place you would get a lot of rats. Yeah. Which, if it wasn't for the wild cats, you probably would. Down, 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 down. Good job we didn't bring us scooters. No, you wish. We're not going up there with that, would you? Right, we're back on the front. We've just been to Alley Op to get Mazzy some wireless headphones. <laughs> More wireless headphones. Honestly, she goes through tons of things. Headphone things. I don't know. I just these iPhones. Where you rubbish. Can't have the same jack in while you're charging is useless yeah. iphones are rubbish no, i like the iphone so we've got them they're only 19 euro yeah um, good price very good price for them yeah. but i didn't tell you this what i could have got you some for nothing when the company got in touch yeah said uh, we do loads of things have a look through all the stuff we do uh, if you want to review any of it let me know and they had about five, ten different kinds of wireless uh, I'd things. I prefer to just buy my own, and I don't owe anyone a video then. Oh, you still owe them a video? Why? What have you got in? We've got an electric scooter coming instead. Oh, you had the choice of headphones on an electric scooter. You should have got the headphones. I really like electric <laughs> scooters. Well, that's going to be cool. Really? So we've got an electric scooter coming We've got here. loads of weird things coming yeah? yeah suitcase rucksack Bye. ring light loads of things yeah yeah uh, got to pick them that up when we get back to England translator pen thing translator pen two I of I think you were excited about that wasn't yeah. you <laughs> yeah there's quite a few odd bits coming up but yeah you're not getting any free headphones <laughs> maybe next time back at our favourite pirate ship the Columbus. Yeah, it's so good. The young girl that works here is lovely as well. Same girl every day. I, we haven't got around to filming the toilets because it's a bit weird going in with a camera, but they are fantastic. They're oh, good as well, yeah. Yeah, really good. And if you can't be bothered going in there, there is actually a toilet just across the road. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, right, firstly, the sun is there and it has been behind that cloud for about three hours. Literally, yeah, and it's. Literally. I think it's about to come out in the next half hour. Yeah. Um, but this place was actually quite busy. The other two days we've been here. There's, oh yeah, round. It's People not today. Eating. And we think, I think, number one, it's because the sun hasn't been out yet. Yeah. And number two, they're doing a bit of work in there. I can hear them with the drill. Oh, it's a jug. Yay. Yeah, we do like these <laughs> glasses. Oh, there's ice in there. Oh, stop. <laughs> How much if you they like. short you off every time you go to a pub in Spain. They do, don't they? <laughs> I just wanted to mention also, I got my hair down today because I was contemplating going to a hairdresser today. You look beautiful. Just wait until you get I back know, to England. I know, but look at the state of it. It needs cutting, something doing with it. It's, it looks lovely. Aww, Honestly, just wait till we... You feel nice. Wait but... till we're somewhere settled in England and we'll find you a nice hairdresser. I haven't been to a hairdresser probably for about, how long have we been together? Probably seven years. You Literally haven't been to a hairdresser for seven years. You can I go a few terrible. more years, surely. <sighs> so the sun has finally come out. Look how beautiful that is. Really nice. 
we've decided we're going to try for the Greek restaurant today and if we can't get in there, which I think we will today because it, the whole place just doesn't seem busy today. If not, then we're going to try a pizzeria up just from our campsite. Looking forward to it. Okay, so we made it to the Greek restaurant, Sitaki. S-I-R-T-A-K-I. Can you see? I'm no. not sure if you can see. But Greek it's specialist restaurant. Brilliant. We haven't even looked at the menu yet. We've just arrived. Uh, a lot of the tables are empty, whereas this was packed yesterday. yesterday which but we've noticed every place is quieter today. It's, it's Friday lot, afternoon. I call it transfer day. Maybe they're going Maybe. home, you know, and stuff like that. But uh -huh. um, because this place was packed, it must mean it's good. Yes. It's Greek. Uh, the lady's come up to us. You're English. She could tell. She's yeah. stupid. So we'll get an English menu. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. They don't have any beer on tap, so we've got two bottles coming. Yeah, I think they're all out of beer on tap or something. I'm not sure. Well, but, I love um... this. It's, it's not the biggest menu in the world, let's be honest. But well, I'll tell you what, it's all in English. Everything is in English. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Greek in English in Spain. Do you know what I was thinking about the other day, though? What? Is this just me or what? But back in home, in England, why don't we transfer all hours in different languages? Why is it that they have to feel they have to put this in English? Because in England, we're arrogant. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Abroad, people look after the other countries. In England, we're arrogant people. We just don't look after the yeah. other countries. We think we're special. That's what it is. I think it is. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Welcome, with pleasure. <laughs> Lovely job. Please. Cold beers, look. So our waitress is actually Greek. Bless her. Beautiful lady. Speaks fantastic English. Yes. And I thought to be polite, because we've just been talking about languages and how arri is it arrogant or ignorant? Ignorant, ignorant the probably, English are yeah. at not learning other languages. Or having menus in different menus, languages. Menus, even foreigners. when you go to train stations, anything like that. Yeah. So I've just tried. I thought when she comes to our, for his order, I'll say, "Can I please have in Greek?" And just come to be up polite. With that. Yeah. It's just squiggly lines, Mazzy. Uh, I can't say that. I can't say it. yes. <laughs> <laughs> At least you tried. That ain't happening. Oh, we got a plant just plopped on our <laughs> table. <We're d> <laughs> it's an appetizer. <laughs> so just going through the menu. I think we're just going to make it simple today. We want to make it. Hello. Oh, I thought the guy I said thought he Dan. called Dan, yeah. But it says Umbra, whatever that means. He wants an umbrella. I don't know why. It's really hot. <laughs> yes, the weather is too hot. Right, we're looking at the menu. And I think we've decided we're just going to go for a mixed. Just something to share. Platter. To pick at, yep. Because this is special for us. Yeah. We're not going to have a meal out tomorrow. We've overdone it this last couple of days. So we can do. A, we cool, might. We still might do. We need to calm down. <laughs> this is his last proper meal out in Altea. Yeah. So, so this one's a nice one. It's massive. It's a sharer platter for two. Starter Greek village salad platter. Various kinds of meat served with garnish. Thirty-six euros. And I feel, or we both feel, that there's something on there for both of us. Definitely. Definitely in Definitely. there. Definitely. Should we just go for that then? I think we should. Yeah. Let's what order that. You only live once and we're on holiday and it is my birthday. Happy birthday. And the Greek salad. Wow, that looks so lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the mountain of this. <laughs> Dan just popped to the toilet, so we don't know what we got. <gasps> it's massive. Check that out. Greek salad. I'm guessing that's feta because feta cheese is Greek. And we've got all these meats going on. And look at those chips. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Yet another toilet with no way of drying your hands. Oh, stop moaning. Oh, you... it's food to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, babe. Yeah, right, that's it's massive, mine. Isn't I think it? that's yours, love. It's massive. Or is that yours? That's your starter. Enjoy. 
Thanks, babe. So this was actually just one dish for 36 euros, wasn't it? <laughs> the platter. I think this is perfect for us. Yeah, yeah. I just wish I had mayonnaise. I was saying to Dan earlier, I haven't had a condiment for ages. We've got uh, virgin olive oil. What more What's do you this? Want? That looks like lasagna. Lasagna. <gasps> and that's what I'm after. The green. Oh, the sour cream. Cream thing. Yeah. Come oh, on. pickle. Yes. Can Let's I have dig it in. Now? Can Let's I have dig it? In. Now? Let's dig in. Have you done a close up? We need to do a proper close up sweep. Look at that, baby. Mmm, and the salad itself, I'm not a salad person, but... That looks amazing. You've got about eight pound worth of Wensleydale on top of that. It's feta. It's Wensleydale. <laughs> oh my gosh, where are we going to put this? In our legs? I don't know. Huh? Don't go near my tummy. So I'm going to film mine first. <laughs> yeah. Because I've not gone over the top. I only, I only like certain things, but I'm happy. That is lasagna. Lasagna with that, I don't know what they call this stuff. Is it Cream like a cu chai. cucumber sauce or something? <clears throat> with some kind of burgery thing. Uh, a chicken kebab, which we've taken off the skewers. Um, some bits of pork, I'm guessing it is. White onion, red onion, peppers. Oh my gosh, that homemade lasagna, man, that is amazing. We're both enjoying that, aren't we? That, you can tell someone's been in the back. Yeah. Cooking that for an hour. Not cooking it, but actually making it for an hour. It's proper yeah. homemade. It's proper. Homemade, and it's so nice. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, don't get me wrong, I like Charlie Bingham's. If you go into a supermarket and get an expensive lasagna, they're nice, okay? Do but you not this, like my homemade lasagna? This is a, yes, but it is still... <laughs> it's still that same, same, same taste. Oh, this okay. is authentic. <laughs> yeah. It's as if they've gone out and killed that cow this morning, picked them peppers this morning. What is that burger like? The cheese like? has just come out of the cow's nipple this morning. What is that burger like? Uh, Beautiful. Yeah? Everything is beautiful. I'm loving mine. So Dan's talking to a local. We just got on our bill. That meal was absolutely amazing. We do find that the meals bills always come in this. I never look at it. It's Dan's Dan's problem. <laughs> But no, that meal was absolutely spot on. We left loads, but I think personally that was um, catered for four. Dan was like, no, it's done two of us. Yeah, because we were being greedy, but that would have been fit for two people. Uh, four people, sorry. You don't like mingling with the locals, don't you? He's not local, he's Italian. No, I know, yeah. But he spoke pretty good English, Very didn't he? Very good English. He's, um, he's here for six days. Well, oh, he, oh. here for like three or four. Yeah. And then Valencia for two, and then a flight back. Oh, lovely. He was in Italy three days ago. It was cold. And him and his wife or girlfriend just decided, you know what, let's go to Spain. Go away, yeah. Why not? <laughs> yep, that's yours. Well, that was a wonderful, wonderful meal. Absolutely stuffed. <laughs> I think we're just... What's the word? We're just uh, spoiling ourselves with beautiful food at the yeah. moment. And we've had some amazing food. <laughs> uh, we've had... It, what have we had? What, Greek. Greek. Indian. Indian. What was the other one we had? Oh, oh it was... Big, uh, big burger man. Burgers and stuff. Yeah. We've had three incredible meals yes. in the last three days. Tomorrow, I, I do honestly fancy just a meal at home. Yeah, I think I <laughs> do. I'm honest. Think I've had enough. Yeah. But yeah, lovely experience again. Another yeah. lovely day around Altea. Absolutely loved it. It's brilliant. Uh, tomorrow, we're thinking about going the going right at the bottom of the snicket, which takes you into is it Albia, something like that. Uh, the seafront looks a bit 
dead. Quiet. That's a better word, isn't it? Quiet. Oh, we've got this hill to do exactly. again. Exactly. I know I was a little bit grumpy earlier with the hill going up to Old Town, but I don't do hills. It's a bad hill. It is a bad hill. <sighs> this is a bad hill. I just don't do hills. But we're in no rush. We're in no rush. <laughs> yeah. So thank you for watching once yeah. again. Uh, I'd like to give a quick super thanks. Oh, it's Jacob. Jacob Clayton. Oh, thank you very, amazing. very much. Thank you, Jacob. Um, <laughs> it's I've, hard work on my little legs. <laughs> it's not just you, was it? <laughs> it's you as well, yeah. It, it doesn't come across on the <laughs> camera how steep this is. It's really hard. It's not too long, luckily. Once no. we get around the corner, we're all right. But thank you, Jacob. You're amazing. And Absolutely thank you all for watching. It. And yep. if you're not subscribed to the channel, will you please consider yes. subscribing? Click in the subscribe button, we'd really appreciate it. Yeah. Leave a like, please. Not enough people do a comment, that. Comment, a comment. And a comment. They like a comment. I did actually reply to every comment. Every comment, did last you? Last night. Did you? And I'm going to try and keep it up from now on. So well done, you. Please uh, leave comments, please leave your likes, and please consider subscribing to the channel. Yeah. If you haven't already done so. Right. All right, let's take another breather and we'll say goodbye. Right. Love y'all. See you tomorrow. Love you lots. Oh, I'm knackered.